Well, greetings. I'm Leonard Blackham, the Commissioner of Agriculture and Food in the state of Utah. We're here today at a Costco, and we're here with the Assistant Manager, Derek, and with one of our employees in the Department of Agriculture and Food, Jay Swanevelt. And uh, Jay, we're going to do a, an inspection here, and Derek, uh, and we're going to show some of the safe food practices that, are, that happened here in the store. Uh, it's important that uh, our foods are safe. That's part of the role we play. The store is, of course, extremely sensitive on this issue. And as Americans and citizens in this state, we're blessed with the greatest uh, and the safest and most abundant food supply that any generation has ever enjoyed. Well, let's go do some inspections, yeah, Jay. Yeah, let's head to the bakery first. All right. Nicely done. We have now entered the bakery department, and the first thing we need to do when we come to a department is wash our hands. Cleanliness is very important. In fact, Jay, how important is uh, washing our hands? Yeah, Commissioner, hand washing is very important. In fact, uh, Centers, of, Centers of Disease Control has told us that 50% uh, of all foodborne illness cases can be prevented if uh, we have proper hand washing. And proper hand washing doesn't mean just going up here real quick and just a real quick couple seconds washing your hands. What's really important is you want to spend a lot of time washing your hands. In fact, 20 seconds is the proper amount of time for uh, hand washing. Here in the bakery now and uh, just observing the what's going on here, making sure the employees have a smock on, that uh, the appropriate employees are wearing gloves and uh, as they handle the food and the supplies here in the bakery. It's like they're making that birthday cake uh, over here so they can Graduation. sing twice. Graduation week, yeah. Busy at it over there and you can see uh, the care that's being given here. To, we're looking uh, to make sure they have their aprons on, that, uh, that they're handling the material properly that the uh, surfaces that they're working on are clean. Things look pretty good here, I'd say, Jay. We're now in the meat department to where they're preparing the uh, meat cuts for the store today. Uh, it's just a little chilly in here. Yeah, and they keep it uh, cooler to make sure that the bacteria does not grow on the meat and make sure it gets in the display case at the proper temperatures. And it's very important. Sanitation is likewise important here and they make sure they uh, start out with clean counters at the start of their shift to clean them often. It's important at home that uh, housewives do the same thing. And uh, cleanliness is the best way to keep bacteria counts down and to protect our families with, and make our food safe. Okay, another critical factor with uh, food processing and those employees in the food processing areas is employee health. Um, employee health is very important. Um, one, one thing with employee health is we want the company to have a company policy on uh, employees that are sick and making sure we don't have any sick employees working. If they're having any symptoms of vomiting or diarrhea, they need to stay at home. And uh, most of our companies have that as company policy. That's a, that's a food code um, policy, employee health. And so that's very important. We're entering the cooler room now. The meats have been packaged and uh, this is where they'll store them. So they put them out in the meat counter. This is also the area where they uh, are thawing some product. And it's important as they thaw their product that they keep it in a cool room. It's important uh, at home that you thaw your product out either in the fridge or in cold running water. It's very important not to simply put it on the counter and allow it to thaw there because the surface temperature will warm up to room temperature and bacteria can grow on that surface. So always thaw your foods either in running cold water or in the refrigerator, just as they are doing here. What we're here is looking at the USDA inspection stamp that are on the meats indicating it's been inspected by the USDA and a consumer can feel total confidence in having a safe product when that's there. We're here in one of the washrooms here at Costco. They have the three sinks. They have the washing sink, they have the rinsing sink and sanitizing sink. We'll check the sanitizing sink and make sure that the level of disinfectant sanitizer is correct in it. Simply put it in the strip for a few seconds. Bring it out and uh, check it on our... And we find, oh, we're right on. It's supposed to be at 200 and that's exactly what it is. 
So this kind of sanitation is important at home. Of course, it's important to wash and to rinse. And uh, we don't use sanitizers, but a, a good rinse and a good wash is very important. We're here in their chicken rotisserie now, where they're preparing roasted chicken for you. They cook it in the uh, rotisserie here until it hits at least 165 degrees. And then from the rotisserie, it goes into the display case. And at the display case here at Costco, they indicate to us that they can be in the display play casing for two hours. After that, they're brought out. Now at home, you should never let your meat stay out more than two hours. After two hours, it needs to be cooled to at least 70 degrees, and then it needs to be down to 40 degrees in another four hours. We're here at the meat counter, and again, the temperature is extremely important here, as it is in ha proper handling of all meats, especially and foods in general. We'll place the, a uh, temperature gauge there between uh, a couple of packages of meat, make sure it's cool enough. There we are, we're starting to go down as it reads it. Uh, that now. <laughs> looks like we're down there at the right temperature now, 40 degrees, and that's exactly what it should be. 39. In fact, it's even 39. Hey, we're now entering the produce room. Isn't it wonderful to have strawberries year-round? I remember as a boy, uh, we'd be lucky if we got strawberries once during the summer, and now we can basically buy them year-round. These strawberries came from uh, California, California-grown and uh, got fresh raspberries right here as well. You know, it's important to our fruit and our vegetables come from all over the world. And we eat fresh fruits and vegetables year round now. And, and but because of that, it's important that we keep them refrigerated. And even like watermelon, it isn't refrigerated, but once you cut it, it's important to put it in the fridge. Because once you have that exposed surface, bacteria and can grow on that and, and cause food illness. So, Commissioner, this is our uh, inspection report. We've got it on uh, software now, mm -hmm. yeah. on the computer. And uh, one, one really neat thing about this program is it's all kept in a database. We can go into a website, and through that website, we can get our statistics. Mm -hmm. Say there's issues with personal hygiene, it, it'll flag that, and we can, we can look up the statistics in those areas and we can see if we've got a problem that um, glares out in different facilities. This is Employee Appreciation Week. Uh, our employees are actually the guardians of your food supply. And it's an important task that we do in the Department of Agriculture and Food uh, as we do our inspections in the retail stores uh, and in the processing facilities to make sure that your food is safe, that the proper procedures and the proper management occurs to protect your food. Today we have a, a great abundance of food and the safest and the most reasonably priced food that any generation has ever enjoyed. And we're proud of the department and I'm proud of our employees that work so diligently to protect your food supply as the guardian of your food.